So we are just one week away until we find out the next lot of free games that we get on PlayStation Plus. Uh, sometimes the months go a little bit long depending on the way that the days work out. This month isn't too bad. Uh, next week we find out the games and the week after we'll actually be getting them to download and play which is pretty good. Now before we get into the main stuff on the video, if you guys want to make your PlayStation Plus memberships a bit cheaper, get your PSN credit cheaper or just any other games in general, make sure you check out my sponsor Instant Gaming. There's a link down below that will give you a bit more of a discount as well but everything on their site is usually about 20% off. You'll also see their giveaway link as well. If you want to take part, all you need to do is literally think of anything that you want, PlayStation Plus, £50 PSN credit, pre-orders, anything, press participate and at the end of the countdown timer which will work out at the end of the month, the winner will be drawn, you guys will get an email and I'll do probably a reveal of who actually won it. Definitely worth checking out, it's free. So you can get yourself something cool but let's carry on now to start with i'm going to go straight for the rumor and it's for something completely different that we've never had on playstation plus before and it's kind of like a board game style game and it's a game called risk now if you guys have never heard of risk it's a big battle game where it's like the whole world map and you're taking over territories uh, you can play it with bots as usual but it's more fun to play with friends i know you can play it online as well the only problem playing this kind of game online with randoms is if they get bored and back out and leave it, it kind of ruins the game so it's one of them games that it's more fun to play if you've got couch co-op and you've got friends around or family around that'll play it or online with your friends and it's not just going to end because people back out and stuff because they get bored it is a fun game but it is more fun to play if you've got friends to play with now if you want to find people to play with make sure you join the discord you'll see a link pop up on screen there's also a link down below and um, there's different sections on there just general chat if you're looking for people to play with and um, all you need to do is kind of put a message on say what game you play in your psn and you can add people to find new friends or you can just jump in the discord chat when you're playing and find other people to chat with always fun it's always better than just sat playing on your own last week um i mentioned sometimes we will do the drop video where new games out that week i will kind of pick my top favorite ones that i'm looking forward to playing um sometimes though the games that are out that week there just isn't anything that i think would be that interesting or there'll only be like one game that i think is worth downloading this week it's kind of like that but there's a few different bundles of the same style of game so rather than doing a video just kind of mentioning the exact same thing over and over again i thought i'd kind of drop it in this video um, and it's the firefighter simulator bundle there is a few different ones as well um, but firefighter simulator i love these style of games because they really really chilled out if you don't want to sit there and full-on concentrate on something where you need to be fully focused on this it's just literally you're a firefighter you're going around doing your job it's pretty slow paced so it's fun to play and i'm pretty sure it's online as well so something like this if you guys picked it up with your friends you can just kind of chill out and have a bit of fun with it before we get on to my predictions though i've done something over on discord i popped it on uh, twitter as well but kind of thought i'd do a video just to mention it as well i was considering um doing a monthly podcast um not really about like playstation plus more on the personal side of stuff every time we do a stream you guys get involved there's everyone's got loads of questions and stuff because when i stream most of the time i'll stream with my wife and um, so it'll either be me on mic or she'll be on mic while one of us is playing something or we'll be swapping around doing like vr if we're doing jackbox we're both kind of just getting into it together um, and every time we kind of take a break from streaming or we're just not in the mood for it we always get asked when just because you guys enjoy just the banter with us really so we thought we might do a monthly podcast together um, just kind of going over what we've been doing gaming wise um, and all that sort of stuff so it is going to be gaming related but more about what we've been doing and that sort of stuff rather than just news in general and um, but we're also going to be doing like a q a style thing and on the discord there is actually a podcast channel so any questions that you've got that you want us to answer in the podcast i'm not even sure when it's going to happen i'm not sure how it's going to work it might be really awkward it might be really fun no idea but i think it's something that we're going to try possibly at the end of the month but if you've got any questions that you want to ask uh, make sure you join the discord and leave it on the podcast channel and at some point at the end of the month that'll be going on the channel it might be a one-off thing it might be a monthly thing not too sure but it's just something that we thought it'd be fun to do together but yeah to finish up with my predictions now the two games that i'm going to go for are two different style games the first one is it's a bundle and it's the kingdom hearts 1.5 2.5 remix 
Now, out of Kingdom Hearts, I'll be honest, the only one that I have ever played is the most recent one, Kingdom Hearts 3. I thought it was really cool, I thought it was really fun to play, until I got to the Toy Story world where I got stuck, and it really annoyed me and I haven't played it since. But, I do enjoy it, and I do like the fact that you jump in into the Disney world, and obviously you've got the Pixar style stuff as well. Something like this going on PlayStation Plus I think would be taken really positively which is kind of the reason that I'm going for it but it's also not a massive game that's always really expensive on the store. And the second one that I'm going to go for is a game called Firewatch. Now I've seen people play this like in little kind of snippets so I'm not 100% sure what style of game it is. At one point I got told that it's a fun kind of adventure game. Someone else told me that it's a horror game. Um, I have kind of had a bit of a look at it. The gameplay for it looks okay. It looks kind of fun, but it looks very indie style rather than the games that people are always wanting. But to be fair, a lot of the time, these style of games can be probably the best ones out there because they're unexpected, if you know what I mean. You'll jump on it not really sure what it is. You'll get into it, you'll enjoy it, and you'll remember it. Whereas sometimes you'll go for a brand new AAA title that you've been looking forward to for a year since you've heard about it. And when you play it, it's absolutely awful and you delete it and never want to touch it again. It's the reason why I do like indie games sometimes, because they can surprise you. Curious to see what you guys think though. Leave a comment down below. Risk, the rumour, is it something that you download and play or would that just annoy you? My predictions, what do you guys think? If you was to get either of those, which one would you pick? Like I say, make sure you join the Discord if you do want to get involved with the podcast questions and stuff or if you're just looking for people to play with in general. And don't forget to enter the giveaway from IG. It's free to enter, so you might as well take part in it. It takes two seconds, just jump over, pick anything that you're after and if you win at the end of the month, you've got something for free. So it's all good. Um, but that's pretty much it for this one. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have a like, it'd be awesome. Don't forget to subscribe as well if you're new to the channel. But thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.